Hello? Ah, how you doing? Sure, I called you as soon as I got in from L.A. Ah, so they told you, huh? No, I just drank to say hello and see if you wanted to get together. No, oh, nothing elaborate. My wife would really like you to come. Yes, she traveled with me on the whole concert tour, but missed her house in Italy. Yeah. Is he any good? In the bedroom. What did you say his name was? Not there, Brandy, yeah? Okay, send him along. Yes, tomorrow's fine. I'll let you know, and thank you, huh? Bye-bye. What did he want? He said Matteo Brandi's coming here tomorrow morning. He's a promising young painter. I've always suspected. Madame gives you ideas. Come on, don't tell me you're jealous. But it's true. It tears your heart out, of course. I don't want to have you looking at her anymore. All you ever need, I can give you. Good morning. I'm Matteo Brandy. Ah, I've been expecting you. That's my wife. Come on, come and meet her. Darling, this is Mr. Brandy, my wife. I'm pleased to meet you. The pleasure's all mine. Well, let's go inside, hmm? Yeah. Go ahead. Mr. Brandy, let me show you the room, huh? this way. Thank you. Allow me. Here. Thank you. Mr. Brandy. I would like you to do the fresco on this wall. You should have enough room here, I should think, right? An artist is always looking for a space like this one to work on. All we need now is a new idea. I'd like to have something out of the ordinary. All suggestions are welcome, any subject you want. I'm sure that Mr. Brandy will come up with exactly the right kind of inspiration. You think? I do. Thank you. My husband's a conductor, and I inspire him. Perhaps I'll inspire you. She's a great inspiration. With music, at least, she's a muse. As a muse, I just amuse. Giorgio makes me sound like I'm some kind of goddess. But I'm really just a woman. You mustn't let my wife embarrass you, Mr. Brandy. 
She's always joking. And you have work to do. Well, that's all for now. <laughs> After you. Thank you. You have a lovely house here. I'm glad you like it. You know, uh, we always wanted a home in Italy, and it was uh, love at first sight. <laughs> Listen. You can have all the time in the world. Just paint a wonderful fresco. I know you will. Goodbye. Goodbye. I saw you. I was watching you looking at him. You were practically eating him up with your eyes. What are you talking about? You didn't even attempt to hide your feelings. I know you were attracted to him. I could see it. Isn't that what you like? Yes. I can see it in your eyes. You want something to happen between me and this painter. But you feel that you have to motivate it. You have to pretend to be jealous. I love you. The idea of you looking at that guy with desire excites me. Drives me crazy. This jealous torment arouses me. Seeing you with him causes such a conflict in me. The only thing that would satisfy me would be to know that you were doing it for me. If you want to make me calm, be my accomplice. I know it sounds confused, but it's so difficult and painful for me to express it, Ellen. I guess I'm pretty mixed up inside, but I need added stimulation if we're to save our marriage. And maybe this boy is the answer. He's attracted to you, and I know you are to him. <laughs> I will do whatever you ask me to. Our marriage is worth my sacrifice. Expecting you. Surprised? Uh, well, yes, I guess I am, yes. Oh, well, can I come in or are women forbidden in here? Oh, sorry, please, come in. What do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Well, if I'm not mistaken, you said you were open to suggestions. Ah, good. I'm pleased you have answered my plea for help. As a matter of fact, I'm completely deprived of inspiration at the moment. It's, uh, it's not easy to keep thinking up original ideas. But, uh, but don't just stand there. Make yourself comfortable.
You need a light. Renaissance was a good era for an artist because before creating a work of art he could befriend his patron really well. You think it necessary uh, to know me really well? Uh, well, as a matter of fact, I didn't mean... Yes, I would like to. Uh, what about the fresco? You had a suggestion for... Put your arms around me and we'll talk about that later. speaking. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm tied up at the moment. Uh, yes, I know I promised to, but I couldn't. I know, the pictures had to be ready, but, but I'm not a machine. I mean, I can't just churn them out. I need inspiration. Uh, sorry. Uh, well, you just have to be patient. You, you'll get them and they'll be good. Uh, if I have to force myself, they'll be of inferior quality. Yes, I appreciate that. I'm very grateful for the studio. I know what it's worth. Yes, I promise you'll get the pictures, don't worry. What? Oh, they were charming. And the wall was ideal for a large fresco. <laughs> no, 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 you, you won't regret suggesting me, honest. Have I ever let you down? Sorry, but I have to go, I'm busy. No, I'll call you tomorrow. You won't find me, I have to go buy colors, brushes, you know, stuff like that. I'll be out for hours. Uh, uh, okay, thanks. Goodbye. It was just... Ananke, the Greek goddess of fate. Great. Yes, what is it? Lunch is ready, madam, and your guest has arrived. We'll be right down. There are lots of exhibitions in Florence at the moment, some of them very exciting. Oh, good. I must go see some. I love paintings. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> she means it. Ellen is even turned on by the smell of paint. Isn't that true, darling? Not only paint, my sweet. I'm turned on by the atmosphere of creativity you find in a painter's studio. Wine, sir? No, I have a rehearsal. I think we should go straight to the bedroom. Come up there so we can study it. I must see it in the setting where you're going to work. It's much better, don't you think? Yes, you can see my sketches wherever you like, only there's still a hell of a lot of work to be done on them. I'm not awfully sure you're going to be satisfied. Nonsense, of course we will. Ah, don't tell me you're in doubt. Of course not. Uh... Why don't we go up while your soup's cooling off and have a little look, hmm? All right, but your husband... Uh, no, no, don't worry about me. Please. Go with my wife. I must go. I have a rehearsal. The usual thing. Duty calls. Go on. Don't keep her waiting. He's right, Matteo. Let's not waste time. <laughs> See you later. Where did you choose an anchor? She told me to. 
I see. You're in contact. <laughs> An actor's not an easy subject to portray, drawing the victims of fate into her net of fatal attraction. Oh, you manage. I hope so. It's just that... You don't want to make love to me? Oh. Yes. Uh... What's the matter with you? Don't you like me? What if your husband comes back? Well, there's no danger of that. Take a look. I could never have done anything else with my life. I mean, it's part of my blood. I have some canvases, and you could have chosen one for your bedroom, but well, I think uh, I think choosing a fresco is much better. It's more original, and it becomes part of the house. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, You're still here, huh? Uh, yeah. I finished early today, but don't let me interrupt your conversation. Uh, I'm afraid I must go. I have another appointment. Uh, good grief. Time flies, doesn't it? Listen, I think I, I, I'll leave these sketches here with you. Uh, Give me a call when you've seen them, and we can meet to talk about the fresco, okay? So long, Ellen. See you soon. Uh, that would be nice. Uh, goodbye. Well, have you done it? Yes, I've done it. Just as you wanted. Tell me about it. All right. I'm ready. You're wonderful. Hello? Matt? Joe, it's me. Ah, how are you? Fine, and you? Okay. Tell me, are you busy or can I come up and see you? Why not? It seemed like a good thing to do. I hope I'm not in the way. Oh, of course not. I've been getting up the courage to call you for hours. You're crazy. That was a waste of time we could have put to good use. We'll make up for it. Go on, hurry. Goodbye.
shop. I came as quick as I could. Mm. Giorgio. Giorgio. Your husband hasn't returned yet. Hmm. Is Regina here? She's gone to her room. What time is it? It's past midnight. May I get you anything, ma'am? No, thank you. Good night. Good night. Very strange, too relaxed lately, too calm. I probably seem so because you're so very tense. He's in love with me. Then we must make him jealous. What do you say? Huh? <laughs> Everything happens at rehearsal. Really? Ever since he fell in love, the cellist's a mess. Can't concentrate, can't follow me as I conduct. You should see him. <laughs> <laughs> Poor devil, I'm sorry for him. What's the girl like? Ah, oh, she's not a girl. I don't believe you. What then? A waiter. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I wanted to tell you something. What? One day, after a concert, a member of the audience came up to me and said, Maestro. And I said, yes, what is it? I want to protest. Why, I asked. Because I don't like Chopin, he replied. <laughs> Good Lord. You know what I said? No. Tough shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love is always the same old story. Something wrong, Matteo. What is it? Speak up. I'm going. I can't work here. <laughs> I must say, the way he works, I thought it wouldn't have mattered how much laughing went on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He's my husband. Try to understand. I'm jealous. I can't help it. But you've got no reason to be jealous. You know he's impotent. I can't stand him looking at you, touching you, smiling at you. Matteo, what are you saying? He's my husband. Then leave him. I love you. But we have so many things in common. I wish you'd be reasonable. I don't want to be reasonable. Matt. And it's no use talking about it. You will not listen to me. Matteo. The concert is getting closer and closer. Giorgio will be away, and we can talk as much as you like. Don't spoil everything. Give me time, that's all I need. Matteo.
been calling you all day long, but you weren't home. <laughs> I accompanied Giorgio to the auditorium. I couldn't just leave him and go. Yeah, sure. I mean nothing to you. That's the trouble. Of course I do. Don't be silly. You don't love me. I do. Well, how can I believe that you do? Give me the chance, darling, and I'll prove it. If you haven't had dinner yet, I, I could come by and pick you up. Then we could spend the night together. No, Matteo, that's impossible. Why? It's not easy to explain, but with Giorgio here in the house, I feel less remorse. Now with him gone, I feel terribly guilty, as if I had no respect for him. We have just too much real admiration for each other to behave differently. Try to understand. But this is crazy. I don't see any difference if he's there or not. You don't understand. I knew it. There are values I respect. I'm sorry, Matt. I must go now. I'll be calling you. Goodbye. Helen. Hello? Hello? I've never been to the Uffizi Gallery. Will you take me? Of course, but not right now. I've got too much on my mind. After the concert, we'll go, all right? Can't we just stop this? I've had enough. The telephone's really getting on my nerves. You can take it, I'm sure, my dear. The best is yet to come. We are just about to play the most exciting part of our little game, to realize it. And you'll have to act it through to the end. After jealousy comes doubt. Isn't that great? Yeah. Do you really think I'd fall in love with you? Um, hello? I'm sorry I couldn't call earlier. Where the hell are you? Hey, take it easy. I'll explain when I see you. I'm on my way. Bye.
Where were you last night? I'm not going to explain as long as I'm on your doorstep. Well? I went out with a friend who's having trouble with her husband, so I slept there. Why? Since when did you start doing social work? Why not? Sometimes a friend's kind advice is better than a psychologist's. And what about what you were telling me, of your not being able to make love with me while your husband is away? I want you. Me too. But we can't. It's no use. If you want me, you must be patient. just realized that you are a cheap, filthy bitch whore. Listen, I can do what I want. If I want to fuck somebody, I will. Who do you think you are? Leave me alone. You can't tell me what to do. Who are you to judge me? So you think I'm just a filthy, cheap whore, huh? Okay. Now what do I look like, huh? Get out. I'm tired of you. You shouldn't have done that to me. I think you owe me an explanation. I have no intention of explaining anything. Why did you do that to me? Why? What should I have done? Let him kill me to make you happy? He grabbed me by the throat. And then he made me kneel down in front of him, and he threatened to kill me if I didn't do as he said. Why didn't you tell me before? How could I understand otherwise? How could I? You attacked me like a wild animal. I reacted so violently because... because I love you. I love you too. You know I do. But help me. Give me the strength to do the right thing. I love you. It's no good. I don't want to go home tonight. 
I don't want to have to face George. Or... Why didn't you call me? If you don't mind, I'd like to go take a shower. Why didn't you come home last night? Uh, there was nothing I could do about it. If I had have called you, I would have made him suspicious. Tell me. Did everything go according to plan? Yes. It was exciting. I'm exhausted from all the passion. I must know what happened. You owe me that. You know you owe me that. I'm tired. I really need some rest. Tell me everything. From the beginning. I'll be glad to later. All right. I'm afraid this game has gone a bit too far. It's gotten out of hand. I've had enough. We're going to have to stop it. Oh, I know it's my fault. But even so, I've decided we must go back to the States. What? Yes. It's the best thing for all of us. You, me, and Matteo. And don't stare at me like that. Do you hear me? I don't want to stay here anymore. Maybe I made a big mistake in asking you to satisfy my perversions. I don't understand what you're thinking anymore. You're starting to get away from me. And not wanting to take any more risks, I've decided we must leave. It's the only chance I have to keep you. 
Matteo is young and virile, and you could easily fall in love with him, and I would lose you forever. Yes, it's true. It might happen. You're right. It's better to go away. When do you want to leave? Tomorrow. Right after the concert, we can get the last flight to New York. Prepare everything you want to take with you. Well, don't just sit there. Aren't you going to put up a fight? You don't care about me now that you've found a man who could really satisfy you. Well, how do you think I feel about it? I have to try to do something. I can't just change the way I'm made. But I refuse to give you up. I know. You're right. I'm your wife. Remember that day in the bathroom when I asked you to do it for me? Of course. I was a fool. I thought you understood what I needed, that you could help me. I'll let you see him one more time, if you'll describe it to me afterwards. But you must think of me. Now I must go. Goodbye. Music's really nice. I had no idea it'd be so talented.
You're awfully quiet. Is anything wrong? Is it for me? Yes, it's for you. Oh, it's wonderful. This must have set you back a bit. Please, turn off the TV. Why? The music is, is beautiful. Your husband is great. It's all great. Please, just turn off that television. Hey, what is it? Something wrong? Matteo, when I asked you to do something, do it. And I'm asking you to turn off the TV. I hate these concerts. Hey, wait. Ellen, where are you going? Ellen. Ellen. What's the matter? I never saw anybody do that before Frances. in my life. Ellen, stop. Now, there must be a reason for your acting like this. Tell me why. All right. It's quite simply that my husband's taking me back to the States. What? You're leaving? Yes, right up to the concert. No, I don't believe it. You're lying to me. You can't be going. No, it's impossible. You can't, Ellen. You're not going to leave me. Goodbye, Matteo. Just what is wrong with you? I've had a load of fun with you. Now just beat it, will you? Because you are beginning to annoy. What? What are you thinking about? You actually think I've fallen in love with you? I've had my fun and nothing more. You've merely been a pleasant, erotic instrument. That's all I used you. <laughs> That's the truth, so why don't you leave me in peace? Hurry up. We'll be late. Have you blown a fuse? <clears throat> Get out. Come on, Ellen. Let me go. 
It's no use. I said, come on out. Do you want me to beg you? No. Get in, Giorgio. Let's go. 